Welcome to another 5-Minute Tech Tip. I'm Dave Casuto with SF Tech Training. And in this video tutorial, we're going to learn about how to convert our images into different shapes or different frames. Okay, um, Each individual image has two parts here, right? We have the image itself, but we also have a frame around that. Okay, so what we want to do is make the frame change shape. So therefore it kind of masks the image. So maybe you want to have rounded corners, you want to have circle, you might want to have a star or a stop sign or something like that. We can make it look a little bit sort of like less ordinary, if you will. So I'm going to click on this and you're going to see there's a number of different ways I can do it. So I'm going to show you kind of like the short kind of quick, easy way initially is that when you click on an image, you'll notice in the upper right, there is this little option here and notice how I have a kind of a right angle and then notice you can also do fancy bevel rounded all that good stuff so if I do bevel right now you'll notice how it's changes let me zoom in a little bit you can see okay that's great I click away and bam that's done let's try another one let's do rounded and then see that converts it right above that you will see the option for how much of a corner radius do you want? And notice this is in picas. If you don't think in picas, let's go ahead and just change our unit of measurement, a right click over here in the, in the upper left corner. And I'm gonna change this to points. And you can see here is 12 points, especially those of you who are thinking about web design, something like that. If you want to convert it to inches, if that makes any sense to you, you can see, bam, that's gonna do it like that. And now I can very easily make this have a little more roundedness. Do you see that? Okay. That's great. In a little bit, I'm going to show you how to make that into a style so you don't have to do that over and over and over again. So let me go ahead and show you a different way that you might prefer. I'm going to go over to here. I'm going to select this image. I'm going to go over here to object. And then way down on the bottom is this convert shape. And notice a lot of options there. Okay. So if I want to convert this into, let's just say a triangle, I can very easily do that. Okay. And then bam, there that is okay so whatever you want to do then and notice i can make that triangle into a fancy triangle whatever that's going to do probably not a whole lot on that image or a rounded one and then let's just go ahead and just bump that up a tiny bit and you can see i have a pretty interesting unique looking image now as a result okay so super easy to do that now let's say for example i want I'm going to zoom back out i want to make all my images kind of look like this okay i changed my mind about that one i want to make this da, da, da. so i don't want to have to do that over and over and over again this is perfect so what am i going to do now i'm going to make it into an object style okay so i'm going to save this so therefore it can be used over and over and over again so how do i do that you go up to window to find your styles and object styles panel and therefore, I'm going to make a new style based off of this. What is a style? Just a preset format because I want to use it over and over again and I want to execute it very quickly. All right, so notice in the lower right here, you have this little plus sign. I'm going to hold down the Alt or Option key on the Mac. And as I click on that, a new dialog box appears here. And I'm just going to name my style. I'm going to say rounded image okay that's great and you'll see my style settings i got a ton of things i highly encourage you to go deeper with this but what i'm concerned with um, i've already done it but you can see there's an option for where are you should be about corner options there we go and you'll see there's my corner options and it's telling me everything that i've done there okay that's great and in the future i can come back and i can do different things like you could drop shadow and everything like that. So on the left-hand side, this is what I want to change. On the right-hand side, this is what I've already changed, okay? So I also like to have as a good habit, say preview, and also I say I want to apply to the selection. So therefore, if I make any changes to the style later on, this has actually absorbed this name of rounded image. I know it sounds kind of redundant, but it's not the case unless you choose that. So very important. So I click okay, and now, there it is inside of my object styles and I want to apply that same thing to this one this one already has a style on it I don't want that style on anymore I want rounded image and then bam there that is let's do it for this one rounded image fantastic there you go all right 
Now we'll do one last th thing here. I would say I want to change that to have like a, um, what do you call it? A drop shadow. So I'll show you how to do that very quickly. I want to edit this. I'm just going to double click back on this rounded image. And if I go over here to drop shadow, because I have the preview option set, I can now see it, what it's going to do in real time. So you'll see, there it is. My drop shadow, just for the interest of time, I'm gonna say I like that, click OK. And now, all of them will now have that drop shadow. See, that's the beauty of the object styles, okay? So we did a number of different things here, all right? So really, really easy, um, but super valuable. Working with the object styles, cannot stress that enough, but also changing the shape of things and then saving the object style, all right? So check out my other videos on paragraph styles and cell styles, um, excuse me, character styles, um, and all my other InDesign. I also have some stuff on Excel, etc. So check all those out, and um, please like, subscribe, share, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.